Hello Hi. and welcome to the Animated Music Video Show, the show where we talk about some of the best animated music videos. Our names are Eleanor and Giovanni, and we're animators who make music videos. Today we're going to be having a chat about Tool Sober, which was made by the band and animator Fred Stirr. And this is a really interesting band to talk about in relation to music videos because all of the band worked in filmmaking before they were making music. Yeah, that's that's something that um, most of the people don't know about the band. And it's a curious fact that they had different careers be before the music. It's also very interesting how to music and visuals complement or are in such a way related that people who work in um, a video or or visual um, type of jobs um, sometimes are musicians or play some music or musicians are into music. So it's just an interesting relationship between those two. Yeah, we often see that kind of crossover. And throughout the series, we're going to talk about other bands who are musician animators or animator musicians. Yeah. And in particular, when it comes to Tool, a lot of people talk about Adam Jones, who's the guitarist, but he also has a background in special effects and sculpting. So he made things for films like Jurassic Park, Terminator 2 and Edward Scissorhands. So lots of fantastic classics. He's got some really good skills, which he's then applied to the Tool music videos. That's amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> well, um, starting uh, from to describe some of the the things related with the video i will i would like to start from the intro um it's very interesting how they use doors in the beginning of the video yeah. this is a very very clever way to start a video because they reveal step by step um, each part of the scenery that you will that will be developed through the video yeah applying like uh, making the appearance of what kind of sets are going to be involved mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's very clever. Also, the transitions. Um, we were talking about the transitions, um, how the transitions go in the beginning from black to lighted areas and lighted sections and then faded again to bla black. Mm. And this type of um, structure is very clever because it seems uh, end, 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 um, endless, and it's just um, one section that appears and then link link yeah. to the next one and the next one and the next one. And it creates a, a feeling of, of continuity, but they manage different um, shots. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a really interesting way to hide your cuts because in this music video, there's a lot of moments where there's something like the doors open and then they close again and it's completely black and they open again and we see a different set or a camera moves through the floor and you see black and then you see the next moment. So it's a really clever way to transition between shots by hiding your cuts and making the animation seem seamless even though it's made of a collection of smaller shots. Yeah, that's just um, something cool we wanted to yeah, yeah. Um, expose in, 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 the, um, in the show. Um, also, the camera movements are very interesting. I was analyzing how the camera movements are related with the guitar. So every time the guitar strums or the distortion, um, let's say with the tail of the distortion sound of the guitar, uh, it matches with all the camera movements. So this synchronization is very special in this video. Um, yeah. Because I... I I remember the first time I saw this video and the first time I hear Tool and I, I have to say this band, they were um, pioneers in, in the sound, the type of sound they have was unique at the time, the type of distortions, um, how they perfect every detail in their sound mm. um, was something that got the attention of a lot of people. and see how they put the, the attention also to the sound, mix it with the video, is really incredible. And it's, it's yeah. something so pleasing to watch. I think this is something that you really get from this thing we're talking about, about 
animators who are musicians and musicians who are animators. Because when you watch this video, you can see that they've thought in a very musical way about timing. Like everything will be timed to the music. Lighting changes, timed to the music. Movements, timed to the music. Cuts, timed to the music. And sometimes in ways that maybe don't seem like they're exactly on the beat, but they'll move with the bass line or move with the guitar line. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, or be slightly offset to give like this little shock. And I think that this is something you get from understanding music when you edit and animate films. Yeah, that's something really cool because now that you say that, I was thinking sometimes when uh, musicians are recording something and they put a lot of effort in a specific part, for example, let's say the guitar, mm. and they tweak and tweak all the pedals and, and to get the exact distortion they are looking for. And they, if they manage the video, they will... Like yeah. to to, to um, match or in some some way sync that guitar, that specific sound with the video. So that's yeah. just something that um, is only possible if the musicians are making the video or if they have a very strong relationship yeah. with the people who is making the video. And it's another way that it can kind of benefit the music itself because it gives the listener a new experience of listening to the song. It means that if the musician knows there's some little detail they want people to understand and they want people to hear when they hear the song on the radio, they can highlight it in the music video and then suddenly it's like they did the listener didn't hear it before but suddenly it's in their head. Yeah. And now they'll know every time they hear the song. I think that's such a great thing about music videos. Yeah. Absolutely. Um also, well, something I wanted to, to um, talk about is how the lights are related with the drums. Mm -hmm. This is something that I notice, um, And it is something really um, special because every time you see some flashes or every time the lights faded in or faded out, um, there's some drumming sections that is related with that. Um, and that is something that, again make make the audience um, feel how every section, every instrument in the band is connected with the visuals, mm. which is um, the ultimate goal sometimes of the of the director yeah. of like trying to reflect that connection of the music and 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 the video. I think it's almost like <coughs> trying to marry these two things together. So you don't just have a song and a video, you have one artwork, one mm. thing that people can enjoy independently of liking the band or liking the visuals. It's like a film. It's like yeah. the, whole, the whole thing. And I think it works really well in this context because you have this visceral kind of feeling in both the music and the animation. Like the animation style, sometimes it's not entirely smooth but it creates this very like alive feeling, this very, this very human feeling. Yeah, and something I wanted to say is um, how um, the animation, the specifically the stop motion animation, can reinforce the um, this feeling of visceral or creepy or pain or pain Definitely exactly. Pain. Yeah, because um, you have crazy characters in this video also the tools they use um i mean the characters are incredible are some like very very imaginative mm -hmm. um tools and 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 everything the color palette seems very um dark because all the colors are restricted like the, there's no much saturation in the video but the color palette is mostly gray colors black of course and um, a bit of brown but all the brown is more or less like a, seems like a rusty kind mm, of brown yeah yeah i think that this aesthetic it's a part of this general stop motion aesthetic it's almost like an art movement of stop motion that you can see in well-known animators like Jan Svankmeyer or in the Quay Barvers who were like really popular in this time period but it continues on today and even the nature of not using entirely smooth animation is something that people continue to make to this day because it has this real tough feeling to it. This yeah, real alive sp feeling. Sp especially with rock bands, yeah, which we, we will talk um, about older bands that also um, use some of stop motion animation in this same way. Um, also, something important to say is 
um, some of the shots are very, very, very well done. Um, I, I would like to say um, these shots where the character cuts all the threads in a box mm -hmm. and how yeah. those threads open, it's something really, really, really good. Well done. And how it starts with this camera movement that is like actual camera movement. Mm, and yes. it moves and then the box opens and the timing is beautiful. Yes. In, in fact, there's something um, hided in, in this section, which is um, there's a camera movement that goes down and then the, the box is open, right? Well, he closes the box as the camera moves down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then when it goes again up. All it, the ropes are tied around it again. Yeah. So... Yeah. so it's basically the most you watch the video, the most you discover little um, details that yeah. are hided in the in the editing and in the composition, which yeah. is amazing because are those specific hidden um, moments what makes some people watch the video again and again and discover new worlds or new different. Um, little uh, details mm. in, in what is going on in the video. And can make the video really memorable as well because I heard about Tool that their record label tried to push back against them making animated music videos because in the traditional sense of things, record labels want the artist to appear very prominently in music videos very often. And they thought that this would be harder to you know, promote the band with. So they said they didn't want to pay for the music videos, but Tool really proved them wrong because this music video did really good things for them in terms of reaching out to more audiences via MTV. Yeah, I remember it was very popular. I mean, ev everybody was into um, that video and that video uh, brought to the band more of that aesthetic because some of the artwork for um, next albums were related with that um, the same feeling that you can see in that vi in this video. Yeah, well, possibly at another point, I would really love to talk about one of their other videos. So I'm sure oh, yeah, we'll absolutely. be back on talking about Tool again soon. Absolutely, they will be here. They'll be soon. a regular guest on this <laughs> show. <laughs> yes. Um, well, and. Oh, one more thing I know that you wanted to talk about was this shot where the puppet interacts directly with the oh, mirror. Yes, yes. That is something really special. Um, every time a puppet uh, interacts with something of the set, it could be a, a piece of glass or when the puppet cut the threads or when the puppet, um, if the puppet um, writes something or, or just touch the box, um, exploring the, 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 the box, those things create a type of realism yeah. that is really beautiful to see in stop motion. And that you don't get in any other form of animation. Yes, because so everything reacts. Yeah. Everything reacts. So um, this is a specific shot you, you mentioned is that shot where... This shot. Yeah. Where the character uh, basically um, uh, clean the glass and reveal something behind the glass. So is this three-dimensional feeling that um, you can get through those moments in the video. Yep. Yeah, and it's the fact that when the puppet wipes their hand over the glass, it actually removes something. So you can see that it's cr it's like had a direct effect on its world. I think that's the thing. It's like a character directly affecting its world. And you know because it's stop motion that it's really there and it's a real thing. And I think that's one of the real strengths of that medium. So yeah. I love that shot a lot. Yeah. yeah. And finally, I will just add the acting. Mm. The acting in this video is very important. Um, how the act, the acting in in the uh, from the puppet was addressed is something that suits the video, suits the music, suits the aesthetic, um, and it's something that um, sometimes when people think in stop motion animation or in animation in general, and they think um, in a character moving, um, sometimes people don't realize that the acting is mm. also another art form that is developed through the puppet. So it's not just moving the puppet, it's how the puppet will move through each sections of the video. Um, mm. And yeah, I have just to say that the acting is um, really, really um, uh, 
connected with the video and with the music and with yeah. the concept of the band? Well, I think the thing is that the average person who watches a music video or a film is not a filmmaker themselves and is not an animator themselves. And a lot of the time I think animators, they want to make something so smooth, so perfect that they forget about putting some heart and soul into their characters yeah and generally speaking viewers don't remember when you make a mistake in animation what they remember is if a character made them feel something like feel scared feel happy feel excited absolutely yeah well to wrap up <laughs> what do you think about this video i think this is a fantastic video um and i'm really looking forward to talking about more tool later well me too so Um, if you like this video, please um, leave a comment, share with your friends. Um, please uh, consider subscribe and like and see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.